welcome to yet another session on using dplyr today we are going to learn how to add new columns to my data frame fine so we have been discussing dplyr over a certain period of time and we have learned some very important and powerful functions of the dplyr package so today i'll be discussing the mutate function which helps you add new columns or add new vectors to your existing data frames so going ahead let's see what and how you can do that so first and foremost you need this package dplyr if you haven't installed yet please go ahead and install it by following the line number 1 that is install.packages in parentheses in double quotes you have dplyr comma dependencies equals true so all those who have already done this or installed the package you can start with line number 2 that's library dplyr okay so this is where i'm starting because i've already installed the package i don't need to reinstall it once again so i've done that now i'm using the same data set that we have been using it all over so i'll just share this link in the description so you can use that link and you can use the data to practice it along with me so this is the data i'm using and once it is imported i just want to see whether everything has been done perfectly so i just check the head so when i check the head i see okay fine i have my data with index date year 2002 year 2003 and so on and i want to see the dimensions dim okay it gives me the number of rows and columns so i get to know there are 51 number of rows in my data set and 16 columns okay now the objective is i want to the end objective let us understand i want to add a column to my existing data set okay and right now i don't have any specific data to put in over there in the new column so what i would do is i would randomly generate 51 observations okay i would randomly generate 51 observations and store those observations in a vector and i would attach that vector to my data frame fine so vector is nothing but a variable so first i create a variable and then i use that variable as a new column to my data set now what would be there in that variable nothing as specific i am just generating some random numbers and saving them in a vector okay and that vector would be used as a new column for my existing data frame go ahead let's go ahead and see how to do that okay so first i am generating some random numbers and i am giving that column name as pop in mill okay like i want to say population in millions so i am assuming let us say the population in millions would be a two digit number so i am generating a sample a random sample okay that would be numbers just between 10 and 99 that is any two digit numbers okay starting from 10 ending with 99 so just generate randomly and how many observations need to be generated 51 okay and uh, is re replacing acceptable for me i don't have any problem okay when i say replace equals true it means that a same number can be repeated n number of times i have no issues with that okay so i'm saying true or else i could have easily said false not at all a problem okay when i say replace equals false it would give me unique values okay so i'm generating this column population in millions i just want to check the length it should be 51 perfect okay now i would take this vector pop in mill and attach it in the existing data frame how will i do that uh as for doing that you know i would bring into action a very important interesting simple function available in this dplyr package called mutate okay so now i'm creating a new object a new data frame called my data 1 okay and now i'll use this function mutate and the logic of using the function mutate is as simple and similar as any other function that we have used earlier okay that's the reason i love dplyr reason being it doesn't give you surprises okay it's such simple and intuitive so mutate okay mutate means here i start saying that okay add a new column new column to what new column to my existing parent data set that is my data and what's the name of the column that is pop in mill okay that's a new vector i have created right so now in my data 1 if i just check the column names 
the new column that I've generated that is pop in mill, okay, that is added. Now, if I just want to see what's there in that data column, so these are the values, okay. And then now if I check the dimensions, then it has to be 51 into 17. Now let's see 51 to 17, right? Okay, now just see, rather than taking two steps for doing the same thing, right? First I create a vector, then I attach it. Rather than doing two things, okay, I could have nested the function, okay? Nested this entire function here itself, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm creating a new object called my data 1a. Here I'm using mutate. This is my parent data, my data. Okay, now I'm giving the name to my column that is pop in mill equals sample. The entire function, okay, the entire function, I have nested it within this mutate itself. Okay, so when you do this, run this, okay, and check the dimensions, you again get 51 and 17. You check the names, again you get this pop in mill. And if you just check the values, my data 1a pop in mill, these are the values. Okay, so I hope you have understood this, found this to be useful. And one more important thing, this mutate function is exactly the same as the C bind, okay, the C bind function in base R, okay. Hope you found this informative, interesting and useful. Do like, share and subscribe. Spread the good word about it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.